Hey guys, uh, it's me, Katie, and I'm coming to you because I want to make um, kind of like a series of videos about my new diet that I'm on, and it's basically, well, not really a diet, it's a lifestyle. Uh, and this is my first video that I'm making, so, and I don't know if I'm even going to share these videos. I might just have them for myself for like a little video diary, I guess. But I might share them. Somebody might find them helpful. <laughs> so anyways, um, as you may know, I went vegan last year, 2013, and about July. And uh, since then, I've been trying new things and with my diet um, and just experimenting because the reason why I went vegan was uh, for the animals. So I guess um, the cruelty-free portion of it really appealed to me. <laughs> uh, and so I was just like, yeah, I might as well just try it and... You know, if I don't die, then cool. <laughs> so I just really felt better about myself eating that way. So anyhow, uh, once I did turn vegan, I did more research and more and more and more and hours and hours and hours. And I, uh, of course, came across Freely, the banana girl. And um, at first I thought she was crazy. I thought she was just this crazy girl that did some crazy diet, but I did know that it worked if she was being truthful because she is super fit, <laughs> like crazy. Uh, so I did that and I thought she was crazy at first, but then I kept seeing her and different things kept popping up about raw food and all this kind of stuff. And I thought to myself like, no, I'm not even on a health journey. I'm really just doing this for the animals. But um, in reality, yeah, you know, everyone definitely inside probably wants to have optimal health, you know. It is hard to overcome addictions to food and um, lifestyle habits because our society is very um, focused around food. Like groups of people that get together, family, friends, it's usually revolved around food and alcohol <laughs> so uh, it is kind of hard to say you know what for myself I'm not gonna eat that kind of food or for myself I'm not gonna drink um, and so on so I really just didn't want to get into that but I'm I experimented for a little while like about not even a week with 80 10 10 the diet um, trying it hardcore and I felt awesome, you know, I felt really good, but it's something that you definitely have to ease yourself into and there's a definite transition period. So uh, my goals are basically to become 80-10-10, but I might just not be so strict on myself because I have that type of personality where if I don't do something perfect, then I'm like, forget it and I, you know, stress out about it and I get crazy about it on myself. So. I'm just not going to stress, you know, if I eat something that's not 80 10 10 but it's still vegan, I'm not going to, you know, kill myself over it. But for the majority of the time, I do want to try really hard to eat that way um, and see how it goes. So I have some inspiration to um, definitely YouTube, like tons of people on YouTube. Um, Freely, Durian Ryder, um, Tani Raw, she's amazing, and I cannot get over that lady. She is just awesome. <laughs> so, uh, and I definitely want to be like her, you know. She's 42 years old, and she feels amazing. She looks amazing, and, you know, there's nothing better than that, you know. So, um, I definitely aspire to her and uh, different people like on Instagram that really helps me like when I'm out and I want to eat something you know and someone wants to take me somewhere you know and I'm just tempted by other things and I you know I can't order like a smoothie or something but then I'm like no I want a wrap or I want 
a vegan chicken sandwich, whatever. Um, but it's processed, you know, and it's like, I, I should eat the raw fruit and the raw foods. It's better for me. I feel better afterwards. So, but when I'm out, it's easy, you know, to go to my Instagram really quick and be like, why am I even doing this? Like, this is crazy, you know, but then I look at them and I'm like, this is why I'm doing it because I want what they have. I want that optimal health. So anyways, um, as of right now, I've been trying, well, I want to be trying, but I ran out of bananas and I have excuses for it, but I'm not going to tell you my excuses, but I ran out of bananas. I don't have a lot of fruit and I'm not sustaining myself right now. So that's a bad thing. Um, I'm breaking out. I don't know if you can see, but like I have a huge pimple right here. And then I have a huge one down here too. I don't know if you see it. And on my chest, look, I have pimples, craziness. And like, I don't know if you could tell, but my stomach is like getting big. You can definitely see, oh my goodness, yeah. You can just see like, it's like bloated or something. And like, I have all this crazy stuff going on. I'm not feeling very good <laughs> right now, and I keep eating crap, but anyways, as you can see in the background, I have my um, box of bananas from Costco, and they're ripening, and um, I'm going to freeze them and start making my banana smoothies during the day, really packing in the carbs, and at night, try to eat a salad. I really need to find a good um, salad rest. Uh, salad dressing recipe so I can start eating more salads. So anyways, that's just my little spiel um, about my health journey and if you're interested and if I even post this, you can follow along and see where I am and where I become hopefully something better than what I am now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one.